This video will show you how to do the problems on page 74 of your math book. So this first problem says find the measurement of angle HAJ. So take a look at that and angle HAJ is located right there. Um, so since we're supposed to find the measurement of it, I'm going to try to see if uh, see what kind of relationships between the angles that I can use to help me out. So I know, um, well those three angles would be angles on a line, however I don't know the measurement of that angle so that doesn't help me. Um, that right there, those angles are supplementary, so that could help me figure out this angle. I could just go 180, subtract 81, and figure out this angle, and then um, once I have that angle, I know that I can solve for x, because those would be angles on a line and would have a sum of 180 degrees. Another relationship that I do want you to remember um, is that of vertical angles. So see this 81 degree angle right here? I want you to trace, trace, trace it like that, straight, straight. Oops, I said straight, straight, sorry. Follow my directions. Okay, and so this angle right here is vertical to this angle. So that means that this angle plus this angle have to be equal to 81. So that's another way that you can do this problem, and that's the way that I'm actually going to show you, okay? So when I set up my equation, I would go x plus 15, and that sum would equal 81 because of that vertical angle relationship we have right there, okay? From there, we can build it to help us solve for x. So start with x, and then we just added 15. So the inverse operation of adding 15 is to subtract 15, and that's what you'll do to both sides of the equal sign. 15 take away 15 is 0. 81 take away 15 is 66. So x is equal to 66, but you're not done yet, because remember, I want you to substitute it back into the picture. And it just has x right there, so this angle measurement right here is 66 degrees. Okay. All right, the next one. Find the measurement of angle HAB and CAB. So I'm going to locate HAB, it's angle HAB, so we have to figure out this angle measurement right there. And the other one says CAB, CAB, so we have to figure out this angle measurement right there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of analyze what information I have here. Um, those three angles are angles on a line. Um, this one's 90, this one's 20, so I could figure out this one, but they don't really care about that one but I can find it to help me if I need it. Um, what else can we do? Oh, right there, those are angles on a line, but again, I don't know this angle. Those right there are angles on a line, but I don't know that angle. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to figure out this angle because that's kind of what's stopping me from figuring out the measurement of these other two. So, let's see here. I'll go with this right here to figure that out. Right. Okay, so I'm going to figure out this angle right there, and I know that this one is 90 degrees because it has that box right there. So I'm sure there's other ways that you can do this, but this is just the one that comes to mind right away for me. Okay, so to find this one, I would just go, I know they have a sum of 180 degrees, so I could just go, one of the ways I can do is go 180 minus 20 minus 90. Okay, and that should be 70. So that, therefore, this angle right here is 70 degrees, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and use that to figure out the measurement of this angle. But first I need to find the value of x. Okay, so those three angles are all angles on a line. So I'm going to go ahead and set up an equation for this situation there so I can solve for the value of x. So I would go 70 plus 3x plus 2x and they would have a sum of 180 degrees because they're angles on a line. Okay, I'm going to simplify it. 3x plus 2x, that's 5x. Positive 5x, bring down your 70, bring down your one equal sign and your 180. Okay, now I can build it. Start with x, then we multiplied it by 5, then we added 70. So the inverse operation of adding 70 is to subtract 70, and you're going to do that to both sides of the equal sign. That says subtract. 70 take away 70 is 0. Um, 180 take away 70 is 110. Bring down your equal sign, bring down your 5x. Go back up. Inverse operation times in by 5 is to divide by 5, and that's what you'll do to both sides of that equal sign. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times x is x. It's going to equal um, 110 divided by 5 is 22. But remember, you're not done because you have to substitute it back in to that original diagram. 
So for this angle, you have to go three times 22, which is 66. So this angle is 66 degrees. And then add a substitute in right here. And it says two times X, I have to go two times 22 to get this measurement of this angle. Two times 22 is 44. So this angle measure is 44 degrees. Okay, so let's be um, obvious here and label everything. So the measurement of angle CAB is 44 degrees. And then the measurement of the other one, uh, HAB, is equal to 66 degrees. Okay? And just to double check, because you know that they'll have a sum of 360 degrees. Um, let's see, this 70 degree angle, I think this one is also because of the vertical angle relationship. So when I add all those angles together, it should equal 360 degrees, because all of them collectively are angles at a point. So. 90 plus 20 plus 70 plus 66 plus 44 plus 70 is 360. Okay, next problem. The measure of angle STP is B degrees. The measurement of angle TPR is 5 more than 2 times the measurement of angle SPT. The measure of angle QPS is 12 less than 8 times the measure of angle SPT. Find the measure of angle SPT, TPR, and QPS. Okay, that's a mouthful. So in other words, we got to find the measurement of this angle, this angle, and this angle. And it's given us like these statements right here, but it's kind of ridiculous that they did that because they've already labeled it for you. So they kind of took all the work out of it for you, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, the measure of SPT is B degree, so they've already labeled it. The measure of TPR is five more than two times SPT. Well, SPT was B, so TPR is five more than two times that. So here's five more than two times that. The measure of QPS is 12 less than eight times the measure of this. So eight B subtract 12. Okay, they, they've accurately represented it. Now we just have to find those angle measures. Well, you should see that all three of those angles are angles on a line. Angles on a line have a sum of 360 degrees. I mean, sorry, sorry, 180 degrees. Angles at a point have a sum of 360 degrees. These are angles on a line. Okay, angles on a line. So I'm going to take this angle measurement right here. And I can just drop the parentheses because you'll see in front of it there's no um, symbol or number in front of it. And it's the first one I'm writing, so I don't need to put the parentheses there. And I gotta add to it this B right there. And I gotta add to it this 2B plus 5. Okay, because I'm adding it. Now I see that there's a symbol in front of it. I'm gonna distribute that through. Positive times 2B is positive 2B. Positive times a positive 5 is a positive 5. Okay, bring everything down. And remember, angles on a line have a sum of what? They have a sum of 180 degrees. Okay, all right, so that's our equation. Okay, now let's go ahead and simplify it and solve for B. So combine those like terms. Those add up to 11 Bs. And then we have negative 12 plus five. Negative 12 plus five is negative seven. Bring down your equal sign, bring down your 180. Okay, now that you have a variable just on one side of the equal sign because you've simplified it, you need to make sure you, you can build it. Start with B, then you multiply it by 11, and then you subtracted 7. So the inverse operation of subtracting 7 is to add 7, and you're going to do that to both sides of the equal sign. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. 180 plus 7 is 187. Bring down your equal sign, bring down your 11B. Okay, from there, you're going to go back up. Inverse operation of timesing by 11 is to divide by 11 which will do to both sides. 11 divided by 11 is 1. 1 times B is B. 187 divided by 11 is 17. But you're not done, because now we have to figure out those angle measures. So we're going to substitute it right there, right there, and right there, wherever you see the letter B. Okay. So 17, put the 17 in for B. So it's going to be 8 times 17 minus 12. Okay, 8 times 17, I don't know what that is. 136 minus 12 is 124. Okay, the next one is 
pretty easy for me because all I have to do is just put it in there. It just says B, so this is 17 degrees. And then that last one, we have to do a little bit of work. We have to go two times. Instead of B, we have to put the 17 in there. And then we have to add 5. Oops, I don't know why I put that. Okay, 2 times 17. Oh, 34 plus 5 is 39. Now let's go double check. These are angles on a line, so they should have a sum of 180 degrees. And they do, so these are correct. Okay, bye.